What's up, YouTubers? Pokey Jedi Trek here. So, today I have another fantastic cooking video I'm going to be doing for you today. Today I am going to show you how to make meatballs from scratch. And just to avoid confusion, the meatballs are basically the kind that you put in dishes like spaghetti and meatballs or Swedish meatballs. You know, you know, you typically find this stuff in the frozen food aisle or something, but I'm going to sh show you how to make them from scratch. So, let's go over the ingredients. So, in order to make the meatballs, you obviously need a pound of ground beef or ground turkey, doesn't matter. You'll also need some canola oil, some salt, some pepper, you'll need some oregano, and you'll need an egg. So, let's get started. One other ingredient I forgot to mention is you also need some breadcrumbs for this recipe as well. Alright, next up we're gonna... Now, first we're gonna... So I just cracked open an egg, now we're gonna lightly beat up the egg. That should... That should do. Okay, so next I added, I added one third cup of water, and I added, and I also added half a cup of breadcrumbs to this, and I'll mix it around a little bit. Now, next I'm going to open this package of ground beef, put that in there, then we'll add a tea, then we'll add two, one teaspoon of garlic. Yes, I forgot to mention we need garlic. So. Anyway, one teaspoon of garlic, two teaspoons of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and three and, and three quarters of a teaspoon of oregano. All right, so now that we got everything, so now I got all the ingredients in. I'm gonna stir this up and mix it around and mix it all up. Got to use I gotta use my hands to do this. So make sure you wash your hands a lot, and I'll show you the final product once I've mixed it all up. Okay, so I got all the beef mixed up. You gotta use your hands. This is one recipe that, that will require you to frequently wash your hands when, because when you handle raw meat, you gotta wash your hands a lot or else you'll get sick. Next up, you're gonna take a, a pot or pan and you're gonna coat it in oil. And remember what I said about cooking with hot oil. And you're gonna put and you're gonna put it on medium to high heat. Because you gotta also make sure your oil is not too hot. So I'm gonna roll up some meatballs and you're gonna so I'm gonna roll up some meatballs and place them in this pot. I mean pan. Alright, so I rolled the meatballs up into balls and I placed them on this pot. And just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna put this lid on the on, the, on this pan, just in case the oil splatters. And because when you have your oil too hot, um, it will start to splatter everywhere and and you don't want in and, and being burned by oil can be like brick being burned by lava. Additionally, when you're when you're when you're frying up these um when you're frying these meatballs, you gotta make sure that they are thoroughly well cooked throughout. Because a little bit of pink, there could be consequences if there's even just a little pink left. Alright, so these meatballs appear to be thoroughly brown. I'm gonna dry them off and I'm gonna sample one. Okay, so this is how your final product should look like. I'm gonna sample one of the meatballs real quick. Mmm! These turned out a lot better than I thought. So that's how you make Italian meatballs from scratch. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope I'll see you next time.